Hello, I'm Indrek and I'm going to talk to you about modifications that I have made to this bike. I've been owning uh, the Ducati Desert Sled for the past three years and done 15,000 kilometers on it and I've spent almost 5,000 euros on the modifications to it. And afterwards I'm going to talk to you about uh, my overall expression, owner's review of that bike. So, let's get started. To me, uh, the bike is almost complete. And I would say it's a fun companion. Sort of that uh, was the main reason why I wanted to move on and uh, try out a different bike and then uh, some other smaller niggles that I mentioned on uh, my other video comparison against the D7. Now if I would look back for these three years um, Am I satisfied with the, that bike? Yes. Yes, it's a pretty much too old bike, at least for me. A nice commuter, uh, looks uh, appropriate um, with together with uh, all different bikes, since retro bikes are in fashion right now. Um, fun uh, at twisties, fun uh, off-road wise, okay that's not a modification, uh, I've been, uh, I have set the suspension uh, to the factory uh, off-road um, settings, really pleased with it. Uh, uh, as I mentioned in my other video, the bike handles better in off-road, uh, in uh, tricky conditions, as uh, my T7 does. And, uh, uh, additional comment about uh, the front wheel, 19-inch uh, versus 21-inch. I would say that's more... Um, the user, uh, the rider, uh, affects more. I've been, um, well, okay, I guess there's multiple uh, aspects. A, uh, that bike has lower center of gravity, but it has a uh, 19 inch uh, uh, front wheel. What I'm heading is that, uh, to be honest, I have been. Uh, uh, more comfier and I have uh, managed uh, better in the uh, deep sand with that bike than with that one. And you, okay, for that one I already got uh, a steering damper uh, for it as well. Um, Main question about uh, Ducati uh, is It's an Italian bike It will break Perhaps But uh, my experience with it With past three years is that The first 10 Ks Well actually first 12 Ks Went totally uneventful No hiccups, no issues whatsoever. The only problems were uh, when I have dropped the bike and bent the levers. And yes, the seat release is in a really shitty place there. And it will get a lot uh, mud inside it. That's I would consider a design flaw, although it's hidden. It, it, uh, it does not show up in the sides. Um, after uh, the initial uh, 12,000 kilometers, I had issues. 
but that I would say is sort of bad maintenance. Uh, in my last big trip with that bike, I had issues with uh, um, the first cylinder not firing uh, uh, correctly. Thought, okay, perhaps uh, uh, the spark plugs, perhaps uh, the spark wires. Nope, it was battery. Uh, Okay, uh, where we are, and as you see, right now it is autumn, winter is coming, it will be quite cold, so my riding season will end now, and I will uh, store the bike there. I, I have always uh, removed the battery, and I have always uh, charged the battery in the spring, the battery lives uh, inside. Uh, so the battery is always fully charged, no problems there, but nevertheless, three years for your around the mill a normal battery is too much. After uh, added uh, new battery, unfortunately not uh, uh, the lithium one, uh, the problems went away and uh, as the dealer uh, mentioned uh, during the last uh, service, the peak Tesma service, the bike is in really good conditions. Okay, so it's a Ducati, yes, it's a cheap one, like sort of the cheapest Ducati that you can get. Um, fine, it doesn't break, but is it too expensive to run it or like to keep it, maintain it? Yes, you have your uh, Ducati DAX. Uh, normal uh, oil change, uh, the simple, um, simple service was 200 euros, uh, Tesmo was uh, 500 euros, and Tesmo took uh, a whole day. Mm, you can change the oil yourself, but you cannot, you cannot reset uh, the service light, which I described earlier. The Tesmo, you can do it. I myself, I would like, I would let someone else do that. Perhaps it doesn't have to be the dealer. Uh, brakes, normal use. Um, brake pads, I have been uh, switching twice now. Uh, the brake uh, rotors. Break discs, break discs. Those are original, no issues with them yet. Mm. The chain that I changed now after 11,000 Ks, and then together, uh, then I made uh, the bracket uh, swaps as well. Mm. Well, yeah, the only complaint uh, I have is that the paint is too, uh, too, what's the opposite of, uh, okay, too thin, too, too thin. Um, it comes off too easily. I would I have not expected that uh, it flakes off there that, not that easily. But then again, I use that bike uh, in adventure settings, I travel a lot uh, on gravel, so it gets really dirty after. Mm. Ergonomics wise, it's comfy for me to stand up with it, oh, st stand up uh, on it right uh, while standing. Um, longer trips. Yes, you are in the wind, but okay, it's at least clean wind, um, you will be cold. <laughs> I was uh, thinking of uh, getting uh, heated gear, uh, but uh, decided to get uh, a nice uh, torn um, insulating uh, jacket instead. Will be I will be using I will be able to use it uh, elsewhere as well. Mm. 
perhaps uh, long distance comment more about the seat well it is sort of wide and plush here but nevertheless it's not as comfy as uh, the one on this uh, still totally doable about the uh, small maintenance comment um, when I swapped uh, the headlight then I needed to access wires that are uh, below the gas tank fuel tank and I wasn't able to get the fuel tank off it has two quick release uh, um, hoses there, clamps there I was able to get one off, the other I didn't. But I was able to manage to get to my connections uh, regardless. Mm. Everything is packaged uh, sort of tightly. Yeah, okay, Origina original um, heated grips. Uh, yeah, they are what they are. That's my, perhaps the biggest gripe that does that isn't as tight as it could be but then again it isn't uh, that dramatic ah okay one flaw as well what i rec recalled behind here should be uh, the rear brake um, switch Inside uh, this metal bracket, uh, fragile small plastic um, switch. When you put the lay the bike down, after you start bend this thingy and the switch pop pops off. I'm right now on my second switch and I have tied it there and removed it. I would say it's hardly unlikely that I will break uh, with uh, in the traffic just with the uh, rear uh, lever I always use both so that sort of a design flaw I would guess I would call it um, when keeping the bike I was thinking of a different uh, switch that uh, you can uh, fed from the hydraulics directly. In conclusion, I would say that uh, this bike is the real check of all trades uh, bike. Unlike uh, your average uh, adventure bike, it has uh, the looks department and the retrospective uh, thrown in or fulfilled as well you can uh, go with it into any pretty much any bike meet it uh, feels uh, at home there it's uh, good looking and inside or outside uh, every cafe do you want to start something I haven't done myself at all uh, it isn't as versatile of course as some bigger adventure bike but it isn't uh, far off either you can uh, commute you can uh, have fun okay most likely in the in the circuit um, racetrack it not as capable I haven't uh, tried that you can tour on it and the engine is smooth there's no vibrations that uh, make you numb okay uh, the sprocket chains that I mentioned now I mentioned third time already yes that that's more revs but you can live with it uh, it being Ducati, it has done some special flair. Definitely, it's a rather um, rare bike. 
you see the T7 like uh, wherever you go riding but this guy that special I would say the only other um, bike that comes close to it is the other big scrambler uh, from uh, Triumph the 1200 XE I thought that that was too expensive for me when I got this one and then again I really 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 like the its looks even more than the um, then the Triumph one once mainly that it is air cooled again the retro aspect here, like okay modern bikes crap oil air cooled goods I mean you can argue with people like that um, do I regret buying this bike no <laughs> not at all um, look at it it's a gorgeous gorgeous bike Ah, actually, me being uh, as tall as I am, I tend to look a bit small, or the bike tends to look a bit small underneath me. And that was one aspect why I wanted to change. But with smaller persons, it's not... Well, okay, it definitely it isn't problematic, but I felt uh, that... A bigger bike would be more suitable for me. The ground clearance as it is right now with the uh, suspension lifted up totally fine with uh, my height I can flat foot uh, with uh, both feet. It's quite soft the suspension nevertheless. One thing that uh, perhaps the last <laughs> takeaway, uh, last uh, remark, is that uh, when I bought the bike there was uh, some confusion in the press release and I got the understanding that it has uh, split ABS. No it doesn't, it has cornering ABS and uh, you can turn off the whole ABS, not just uh, not just on the front. That's something that I'm missing. I'm not that uh, good on off roads, so I tend to under brake. Uh, I'm afraid to lock the front wheel. Thanks, and shout out uh, to all the fellow desert sled uh, riders. want to highlight it once more try out uh, the bracket uh, swap most likely you would uh, like it if not then yep you wasted a little bit of time and um, the, the biggest expense would be the chain if you would not be able to reuse it but try it out most likely you would uh, like it thanks Take care. Auf Wiedersehen.